Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator, and I was talking to Maestrieth, the author of Auto Hockey Studio of the day, and he mentioned something about doing uh, in-place includes, and I'm like, I'm sorry, what, you know, what are you talking about? So um, the following is a little uh, tutorial on, you know, how you can do in-place includes, and more importantly, why, because for me, I didn't quite understand why I would do them, and then after he explained it to me, I'm like, okay, I, if you're working with some big code, I could see how you might want to use an in-place include to just kind of help consolidate and organize your code. Uh, meanwhile, I wanted to, uh, since this is a, you know, a tutorial on helping training you guys, I thought I would show you this great mem I found. It's really good for relationships. So if you ever have a woman, you know, say I have ovaries, this is your response, okay? <laughs> is that why you overreact? Um, yeah, oh, I know it's bad and you're gonna get slapped, but I thought you might appreciate that. So, uh, you know, a little help for me, you know, just tell them I said it. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, comment down below. Tell me if you have a really funny joke uh, that you think I should feature in here somewhere. Cheers. This include, wherever you put that include, that's where it, it puts the file. It reassembles it right there. So now when we run it again, our message box is back. Yeah. I but if it. you put that include down right. here, yeah, that happens. Yeah. Yeah. I 99.9% .9 when I'm doing that, I'm creating a function. And right, right, right. And you can put I, functions anywhere. Yeah. Right. But that's, I get how it could matter depending on what you're actually putting in that other file. Right, right. Labels, stuff like that. Labels can usually be pretty much anywhere, but like if you're putting just normal code somewhere and you right. wanna create an include to just get it out of your main script, right. yeah. just turn on includes in place. Uh-huh, okay, interesting. And then when you select your text, you hit the key, it'll put it right where you right where it was gotcha. and some people might be a little ocd and want that include right where the, it was it, okay. you know honestly it, it programmatically to me it does help right like i i know okay it's the logic you know like oh okay this right it's gonna go use that and it's right there okay great all right you know i get that so yeah that's the includes in place or whatever and it can be multi-line um label uh, this is my label. Whoops, don't want that. Return. So this label, you select all the text you want. Control Shift N. And I'll just call it label. And then it's gone. But it's down here. You hit Alt F1. All the text you had selected is a part of the new file. So... Yeah, um, trying to think. 